Hello, I am uh, Zakia Kafafi. I'm, uh, I work at the National Science Foundation. I'm the former director of the Materials Research uh, Division. I'm also the founding editor of this journal of photonics uh, for energy. I had the privilege uh, to work uh, with a great team of people from SPIE as well as colleagues uh, and from the scientific community to uh, establish this journal where we are seeking uh, papers that uh, uh, do, are, are advancing the area of photonics uh, as related to energy, in particular renewable energy. So the scope of this journal, uh, there is uh, materials and concepts. Uh, we are looking for light absorbing materials, in particular material that absorb the solar spectrum in uh, the visible as well as the near infrared. Uh, we are uh, looking for a uh, new concept, novel uh, photonic uh, concept for renewable energy, such as plasmonics, for instance, light management, light harvesting, and so forth. So this is all related to converting uh, solar light into electricity. But also there is the other concept of converting uh, electrical energy into light. And this applications uh, like solid state lighting or uh, uh, flat panel display. So you're going to have a TV, it can be like a curtain in your room and, and so forth. So there are many exciting technologies that are related to, uh, besides advance, advancing the fundamental knowledge. The journal uh, covers, uh, as, as, I, as I mentioned, the scope of it covers a very wide spectrum of many different areas of physics, chemistry, materials uh, science and engineering, electrical uh, engineering. And uh, so it advanced uh, our understanding our, on, on how to develop and design new materials for the different applications that I mentioned. Authors are not very familiar with this new journal and its scope. So they, they, they think, uh, you know, uh, uh, they can publish anything they want in that journal. And that's really uh, some of uh, the common pitfalls for, I would say, the novice authors. So for instance, there is a, I've seen a lot of public submissions where it's related to pure, uh, I would say, synthetic chemistry or materials uh, functionalization where a journal like uh, Advanced Energy Materials would be probably more appropriate. When you have a new journal, people think it's the easy way to publish their work. So the quality is a big challenge. Uh, the, um, and we see also a lot of uh, submissions from overseas and the English language is, is, uh, is really poor. So uh, I would say that's one of the main reasons, you know, on the, either the scientific quality of, or the poor language. I am chair of the if a conference in the SPIE. I've been chairing a conference. This is the 13th year of organic photovoltaics. And today, one of the invited speakers from a company in Germany called Heliatac is showing here an example of a solar panel. This is a flexible solar panel that consists of many, many solar cells, and these are tandem cells, so each, each cell cons has more than one cell uh, you know, that absorb a different part of the solar spectrum. And they can come, you can see here, this is green, but you can make it blue, red, yellow, any color you want, and it's very light. So this is, this is the future. Uh, so I would like to, uh, to address uh, the researchers, whether they are in academia, industry, uh, or national labs, whether they are in the US or outside the US, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, this is an international journal. I'd like to welcome your submissions. And if, if, if you are doing research in any of the areas I described, uh, please submit uh, your publications. And uh, I guarantee you it's going to be very high quality it's peer-reviewed by uh, people that are experts in the field. And if you have any question, feel free to contact me.